Invisible Finger Snap, that's the gimmick. It is um, June 10th. It's about 11.30. I've been meaning to make a video and lately, and I've just been procrastinating. And I got some bad news today. Um, spoiler, brain tumor, I guess. Um, so, I don't know, kind of like a little more motivated. Maybe it could even be called out to make it. And before I start, I know obviously it probably looks like there's still a filter on all my videos beside the last few of them. Um, I did actually buy a new webcam. Um, 920, whatever, whatever, it's supposed to be fucking good and it's still, the color is now messed up on Windows 8, so I don't know how to fix it. The only thing I've uh, been able to do to get the, like basically the color is messed up when I start and then it gets even worse during playback, so I've tried a lot of things to fix it. I don't know. The only thing that seems to work a little bit is if I make videos in virtual dub and but that won't compress where it's shit basically and it makes everything too large. So so I'm actually probably just gonna turn off the lights actually because I think it might make it look a little bit more now it just looks dark. You probably can't tell it just looks dark. You probably can't tell that the filter is so fucked up on everything, right? So anyway, what has been going on? Um Lately, because it's been a while since I've made a video. It was my birthday recently. Um, according to an online age study thing I did, I think I'm about 14 years old now. According to that, um, I'd like to think that I'm a little bit manly, like a manly 14 year old, though. So, something like that. Um, I didn't really do anything for my birthday because I got sick, but, um, you know, I'm kind of used to that by now. So, and I've been sick quite a lot lately actually so I wasn't very surprised which I'm gonna get into about I guess uh, let me get the depressing stuff out of the way right so I've been pretty sick for about a month and a half now probably around the end of April you know beginning of May I started getting sick a lot you know I get chronic migraines and cluster headaches and you know I don't know if anyone knows what like cluster headaches are but I can get like you know, it feels like I'm about to die, like very dangerously sick, right? So I've been getting a lot of migraines, cluster headache kind of things going on lately, and um, but those sometimes it's just worse. So just bad luck, really. What the fuck are you gonna do? You know what I mean? So that's been going on, and um, excuse me, um, losing my train of thought. Um, so yeah, that's been going on. Just like really tired lately, fatigued a lot, and um, so I know. At least if people watch my journal or watch this vlog, right? That um, my doctors they give me you know Viagra, the um, Revatio because I have that diffuse scleroderma and kind of like to help me heal because I just don't heal from anything anymore. Like I don't know if people can see, but I got bit by these fucking bugs and it's been here for like weeks now. It's ridiculous. Um, but that's not why. You know what I mean? My feet were bleeding really bad on last year and I just could not heal from anything. So. They started giving me that to help increase my blood flow to help me heal. And um, so one of the side effects of that, though, is if you take a lot, uh, I guess it can be any, any dose, but when I always take a lot of it, um, you know, you get a little bit of a ringing in your ears, but um, it's more of an after sound side effect for me personally. Like I'd hear something and then it'd be like, a ding, da -da -da -da. Right, you know what I mean? It's like an after effects side effect. But as long as I wouldn't take too much of it, I wouldn't it wouldn't get too bad, right? So anyway, and then I woke up I wanna say it was a Saturday, I don't remember what the fuck it was. But I remember I went to the emergency room, emergency clinic, emergency room kind of thing. Cause I woke up and I was taking a shower and my ear just fucking my left ear went out on me. And it just is like if you heard a uh uh, emergency broadcast system or something like that, right? It's like, D, and I can fucking hear it in my ear still, right? So I was like, what the fuck, dude? Do you know what I mean? Like, what is going on? Like, this is some weird shit, right? It was weird enough that I was like, man, I got, I better fucking go to the hospital. Like, that's how weird it was. Like, I was like, I'm gonna give myself to the end of the day, and if this doesn't get better, like, I'm gonna go, because it was fucking, it's, sometimes it's louder than others, but it was really fucking loud when it happened, and, um, so, I go to the emergency room or emergency clinic, whatever, and, you know, they check me out, and I have a fever, I guess, I'm thinking, what, what am I for? I'm sick all the fucking time, I didn't, so I guess I had a fever, you know, I was just like, oh, well, I'm not getting sick lately, I guess I, I guess I had a fever, right? And she uh, checked my ear, and she said I had an ear infection, but of course, you know, since I was dying from C. diff, I can't take any antibiotics, so not much you can do, right? So, 
Are they giving you the medicine or not medicine? They just said try to take some like ear drops or something because you can't give you antibiotics for the infection, right? And yeah, so that didn't really do anything, right? And um, going into this, I'm trying to think of any other doctor stuff that has happened. Um, well, or before like today, because it was like the beginning of May then. Um, I had a uh, I had infectious disease at U of M for the uh, Lyme's disease, and you know, I've been testing positive for Lyme's disease. Um, the guy was um, the guy was actually nice. Um, because you know a lot of my doctors are kind of assholes, but he was nice to me. He was um, he was actually pretty surprised I was what I what I said I was like looking at my blood test. You know, he's like, wow, I never would have thought like looking at your test that this was going to be you. You know what I mean? Because, which is kind of like, I mean, I take it as a compliment for you too, and it, it sucks and I take it as a compliment because, I mean, people don't realize how fucking hard I push myself to, like, stay alive and do as much as I can while I still can do things, you know what I mean? And uh, another thing that was kind of frustrating, like, it was good, but frustrating because he was, like, looking at my testosterone. He's like, oh, I never thought you had low testosterone too. And because the U of M is like really asshole about my free testosterone, I'm like, oh, they're like free testosterone does not matter, even though mine is like shit, right? I'm like, well, you know, even after I've taken this clomid and everything, you know what I mean, to try to boost my level, like still like my sex drive is like shit. Um, and I just I have really bad energy, right? And I'm like, and every time I fucking read these low T forms, he's like, you know, hormone replacement things. It's like, um, well. You know, if you don't have free testosterone, like, I assume that's why, as well, that I still have the side effects. And he's like, yeah, well, he basically agreed. He's like, yeah, definitely. Anyway, so, basically, though, he was like, um, you know, I don't know how you would have got Lyme's disease, which I agree, it's a little out there. I mean, I tested positive before, though, so what the fuck are you going to say, right? He's like, but, you know, you've also tested positive for this diffuse codona, and, you know, that kind of fucking kills you. And, um, you know, I mean, so that's a really bad thing, so maybe that's just why, you know, you're just going to be testing positive for all sorts of weird stuff since you got that fake basically fucking killing you, I guess, right? Do you know what I mean? So, that wasn't too... So, I mean, okay, I mean, it says both, the, both options suck, right? So that wasn't too helpful, but I'm not going to talk shit about the guy because, I mean, he was like, um... um excuse me, he was, you know, he was pretty cool. I talked to him, he wasn't like an asshole to me or anything. Sorry, excuse me. Um, other doctors have said that I had a you know my one PCP refused to see me now that I tested positive for Lyme disease, but I saw another PCP and she was kind of an asshole. She was just like, Well, you know, why don't you just go to another hospital? Blah blah blah. It's like, Well, you know, maybe you guys didn't fuck me up and other hospitals didn't want to deal with your mess, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like. I don't want to, you know, there's a lot of stuff to talk about, but that wasn't too helpful. Um, other than that, I did see my rheumatologist, and, um, you know, they're basically just like, you know, dude, you've tested positive for so many things. It's like, how are you not fucking, like, crippled yet or, like, in a wheelchair? So they were talking to me, like, going back to, you know, try to go back to Cleveland Clinic or Mayo Clinic, and you need to stay more than just a week. You need to stay, you know, like, a few weeks. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? Like, why? You know, like, how are you, like, how, how are you not dead? <laughs> basically, you know what I mean? But, um, or you don't know what I mean, but, you know. So, but again, that's just, like, dude, people do not realize how fucking hard I have to force myself. Like, when I'm not sick, like, I force myself to do as much as I can every fucking day, you know. I'm not religious, like, I'm not expecting anything after this, you know. So, as long as I can still do things, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be one of those sick people who's, who's going to stay in bed, even though I am in bed a lot sick, but... I don't want to be one of those sick people that just fucking, you know, stays in bed and is waiting to die to go to, like, heaven and bullshit, you know what I mean? Because I'm not expecting anything like that. So anyways, um, anything besides that, um, ASIN was, I know ASIN and, you know, there's cosplay and stuff, um, I did go to ASIN and I wasn't too sick, um, I got sick the day before pretty badly, so I guess that kind of gave me a few day buffer, maybe, thankfully. <laughs> so... I got sick the day before, so maybe that was good. Um, but other than that, at ASIN, I wasn't too bad besides that, um, just, you know, just really tired. And um, I know lately my bilirubin, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad right now, but my, like, bilirubin levels have been really bad. So, man, my eyes are fucking yellow as hell, dude. Like, I looked, you know, that's one of the things that really pisses me off that I, sometimes you can just tell, like, you know, my face, like, it gets, like, yellow, my eyes get yellow, and I look pretty bad, so. I wasn't, like, throwing up or anything while I was there, but I was just, like, tired, you know. A lot of times what I've done at other times, I've just, you know, I gotta be like, 
go a little bit lay down you know boom 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 I can't be out for an extended period of time just gotta keep laying down take lots of breaks um and it was it was nice I will say that um um I want to get a, you know a lot of people did throw some like positive vibes my way you know what I mean which meant a lot to me um because I do like I said I do push myself really hard on uh I'm not getting a message here too constantly time out I'm sorry yeah what what the fuck yeah I was like what the fuck is this okay I'm sorry <laughs> I wasted precious YouTube time um yeah, a lot of people are throwing positive vibes my way, but you know, a lot of people are drunk and fucked up. But you know, even so, you know, sometimes, sometimes you're drunk and you're just an asshole. Sometimes people are just drunk and they're just nice. You know, but even so, a lot of people are throwing positive vibes my way, especially like Hollywood Tommy. I don't think he watches this, but I mean, he threw a lot of good vibes my way, and uh, I really appreciated that. I guess, you know, what I mean, so um, that's good. And to all other people that did as well, because you know, it is being sick does take a lot out of you. So, and like I said, I don't. A lot of those, you know, when I go out with lots of people, you know what I mean? It's just amazing, like, how different my life is than everyone else's, you know what I mean? Like, I'm basically faking it, like, constantly just... Man, life is way different. Whenever I do something like that, I'm always like, damn, I'm like... Life is, like, crazy. I know my hair is getting... You know, one thing that's kind of sucks that, like, my camera's not working that well? I've been working on my tanning games and, like, trying to get beach blonde hair again, and, um... You can't appreciate that my hair's been getting a little bit blonder. I haven't been trying to do that. So, um, anyway, and then, you know, my birthday. And I know every time I've tried to get hot, I've gotten sick. So it's been, so it's been a pretty rough uh, month and a half about. Anyway, so the bad news, right? So I was expecting bad news about my hearing because my hearing has been really bad. And today I went to the ENT. And they're like, yeah, you know, you're, this is like, they did a hearing test and, um, and they're like, yeah, this is actually like severe hearing loss in some ears. And, and um, the guy's like, the right ear is still the same, you know, your left ear is really bad. Like I said, severe hearing loss in some ears. And he's like, he's like, this is really unusual, you know, this is serious and, you know, a brain tumor has been operated. So if anyone knows, when I first got sick, they thought I had a brain tumor, and the only thing that came up was that I had like a nodule around the, I think it was nodules around my pituitary gland, so not an actual tumor, but a nodule, but of course, as the years have gone by, tumors have popped up in shitty places, <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, that was, I was like, wow, dude, I was expecting bad news, but he was like, yeah, he was like, you know, this is the most kind of like, pretty much probably a brain tumor, I think, so, um, like basically the three options sound like brain tumor, like cancer. Um, and if it's not cancer, it's still because you know I've got these other tumors, these emerging fibromas. So that's still bad. Um, and of course, trying to remove these is like a very serious, dangerous thing. And he tried to kind of reassure me that you know U of M is going to take care of me, like good neurosurgeons. But come on, let's remember one of the reasons. Let's let's remember I was dying once because of doctor's malpractice. So that's not reassuring, you know. So, um, I mean, basically, and you know, of course, the surgery is like, it, and like I read about the surgery too. And the surgery is like, you know, even if you do it, it's like, you know, you gotta cut off, you know, lots of um potential side effects, and you know, even something about the Lyme disease I was thinking that can call it cause like your face to get plucked up a little bit. And I was thinking, cause you know, when I got sick, I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can notice, but one side of my face is fucked up, and it's actually why I don't like to smile in pictures, because when I fake smile, you can tell really obviously that my face has gotten fucked up after I got sick. So any more chance of, like, nerve damage there is not cool sounding. <laughs> um, I guess basically, best case scenario basically sounded like, you know, that I got this hearing loss is from the infection and but even then it's probably permanent he said so I don't know this ringing is it's been keeping me up at night I can't hear correctly so really bad news um, I still haven't had those other tumor well I had one tumor removed but you know I still got that other tumor that's 
Like I said, unless that's about to kill me, I don't want to get rid of them. That is just, it's, there's too much bad stuff that can happen. Um, so yeah, another two more posts I said, I don't even think, honestly, I was pretty, like, some tears flowed after I left. That was pretty sad for me, because he's like, he was not optimistic, let's just say that. <laughs> he did not think it looked very good. So, of course, even if it's in a tumor, it's not cancer, because he's not neurogenic fibroma, neurogenic fibroma is permanent nerve damage, any way you wouldn't get removed and just going into your brain or whatever. I mean, like I said, he did not make it, it did not sound good, and, um, and of course, even if it's not the infection, it's just, it could still sound like a permanent, so that's not fucking good news, if you know what I mean. So has anything else been going on health wise? I still have not done the low T. The low T stuff, the TRT stuff, I really just gotta do I don't know. I keep it's amazing that I've like passed it off this long. Even I'm just thinking about my birthday. Be like, man, is it you know, it's amazing I'm not even dead yet. I'm just thinking about a lot of people that think they're like even I'm just like, wow dude, how the fuck am I still alive? There's so many days I feel like I guess nothing. I don't want. To, I wouldn't. Don't think I do the surgery because I don't have the strength to go through another life or death thing again. I'm like I'm not. I still have permanent side effects from the other crap. So. <sighs> um. So yeah, no TRT yet. Which, God, man, I feel like shit. So. I put it off another year though. So. Pretty amazing for that, right? I would definitely. Um. Like I said, I'd like there to be less. Um, fatigue and of course a higher sex drive um so like i said I, I get like a bipolar kind of sex drive now since i've had it like um do you know what i mean like um sometimes you just look at a girl and like you know like oh that girl man like i just want to make that girl fucking come so bad <laughs> do you know what i mean do you know what I mean? like i just fuck that girl like, i just want i want to make her come dude i don't know how to explain it but you know those kind of like feelings are just kind of like very those are like i don't get do you like I'm trying to explain, like, you don't get those since the low T thing happened as much. You know what I mean? It's, like, very bipolar, just bipolar sex drive kind of thing like that. I don't know. It's, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, I guess. But, obviously, uh, I'd like to have a higher sex drive, I guess. Um, but, of course, because I'm afraid of the side effects. So. Of course, I never took that organ transplant medicine. Who knows what the fuck is going on with that face? But now there's Lyme's disease stuff that's going on. I don't know what's going to go on with that. Um, oh, my body has been hurting a lot. My back gave out on me again. Like workout wise, um, I'm trying to think of it that this is the last year that I'm pushing myself working out because you know I just it takes so much out of me when I'm not sick just to force myself to do things. So, so I was. I'm trying to motivate myself that this is like, hey, this is at least to the end of the year, maybe another year of like working out, pushing myself as hard as I can go, and then just fucking reevaluate where I am in life. Of course, now I got this brain tumor, it looks like, right? So who knows what's going on, but you know, just, cause I mean, I push myself so hard, like, dude, I can't, like, I'm, I've been having a bad period too lately, so it's hard to fucking push myself. So I've missed a lot of workouts. I missed about a week at one point, and I haven't done more than 15 minutes of cardio. In over like a month and a half, dude. Like, I just have not been able to do it. You know, my back gave out on me, so I have a day where I can only do like push ups, basically. It just is oof, not good. Saying that, I do need to do a, uh, I need to do a, uh, I need to do like a progress pic. Cause I mean, it's, I, it's kind of like one of those like fine lines. Like, sometimes I'm like, man, you know, when I get like a good pump going in the mirror, I'm like, man, dude, I look fucking. Like I said, you can tell I'm sick in my face a lot, you know what I mean, like my eyes, and especially when I get yellow eyes and dark circles, like, or I get a puffy face, it happens a lot, like, you can tell, but I mean, like, body-wise, I try to, um, you know, fake it, uh, you can fake that a little bit easier, at least I can, and it's kind of like, sometimes I'm like, like, man, dude, like, I look pretty good for what's going on right now, or I look pretty good, right, but then other times it's like, I look pretty good, asterisk, considering the circumstances. So, I don't know, kind of like, so kind of a positive vibe in this month, like, man, dude, like, no, this isn't working, dude, like, I'm pushing myself so hard, I just can't do this, and I don't know, other stuff, I have been trying to get into Japanese again, I 
it kind of, I think it's probably because I was just a daisy. It's kind of like made me want to do the whole Japanese thing again, but on a ball. Man, my PS2 is fucking ass, so playing all those uh, old <laughs> visual novels is really hard since the laser fucking does not work correctly. You know, of course, my ja I just can't read as well. My Japanese isn't as good. I can't concentrate as well, so it's very frustrating. Um, I haven't really, my art has not, I haven't really drawn very much lately. Like, I feel so fucking, like, what am I doing, man? Like, I don't know if, don't get fucking sick, dude. It's fucking awful, dude. Like, I've been sick for, like, 11 years now, man. Think about that. Like, my whole life is, like, seriously, like, passing me by. It's ridiculous. Like, it's a bummer, dude. Um, hmm. is there anything else? I just was telling you, this has probably been pretty long. Um, socially, I still want another year. Still never got a no, no fucking apology from those assholes. That whole two shit, that fucking um, two face group. No apologies from them. Still got no apologies from that one dude that said I was fucking his girlfriend and all that kind of stuff. So he went around making up stuff about me. Like, you know. It pisses me off because I hold myself to such high morals, I think, like that, basically. I'm not saying I'm, like, the nicest person in the world, but I, if I, something is, like, if I have, like, a moral view on something, I, I try to hold pretty steadfast in it. I just cannot believe I could not get apologies. I think that's, they even fucking this one bitch on one of the sites, they said, um, she tried to flip it around that she didn't want to be friends with me when I was the one that told her that I didn't want to be friends with her. Oh my god. People trying to make you look bad, like stop. And I guess that one dude said it. He said he was saying I had sex with his girlfriend and all this crap. And someone said that now he said that I was hacking his Facebook and that's why we're not friends. Man, I know it's petty, but you know what? You gotta think of my perspective, dude. Like, generally, I'm willing to be a bitch for someone. I mean, even though I know, I know a lot of times when I go out, like people think I'm like the alpha male kind of thing like that a lot of times. That's, I just fake it sometimes, dude, what I mean. I think it's because I'm, like, kind of quiet, so <laughs> they fake being quiet and kind of shy because it takes a while for me to get started sometimes and get on a roll. You know what I mean? But so they might just mistake that for confidence. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm willing to be a bitch for someone, usually. It's just that once you get to that line, you'll actually fall off and you're kind of dead. So still no apologies. That pisses me off. Um, uh, what are you going to do? Um. Other than that, I don't think I have too much to say. Like I said, I just get pissed off that it's been like a couple years now. I think three years since, two years since one, about one, a year and a half since the other. No apology, and man, that pisses me off. I can't, like, even begin to think to say how much that does. But what are you going to do? Um, hmm. Ugh, tired. Um, I do got doctor stuff tomorrow, actually, and uh, I gotta get my spleen checked again, because I never did that bone marrow thing. You know I was supposed to get checked after more cancer stuff, I still haven't done that, so. But I gotta get my spleen checked again, just to make sure it's not getting explosive. I came up with that just right now, that's pretty quick, actually. So yeah, not a lot of good things going on lately. Um, video game stuff, um, you know, I'm not too horny about games right now. I just feel, I just, and of course I've been at this level for a while, like, they just don't bring me joy, like, I can, like, I've just looked at games and I can just tell exactly what works now for, like, a, quite a few years now, like, you might be a guilty guy, man. I remember I posted, I was like, I bet you can do this combo, all oh, right when the game first came out, they're like, no, you can't do that. Now, of course, months later, the Japanese are doing it, and they're like, oh, wow, wow like, I never would have thought of that, like, oh, and it's just like, dude, I fucking told you that was going to be possible, like, just, I don't need to play games, like, even AC... All those games, like, I made all those comic videos, boom, boom, boom. Do you know what I mean? Like, those Marvel videos, I didn't fucking play Marvel. And no one's done anything like that yet, still. Do you know what I mean? So it's not, like, morally pleasing to me either, so. It's just kind of like, I feel kind of bored with it. And I'm not getting anything out of it, so. I'm not too horny about it. Um, supposedly, I was, um, supposed to go meet about some modeling job recently, but. Yeah, I got some number to go to something. 
So I've been thinking about getting into that, but of course I've been really sick, so body-wise, I don't know if I'm actually at that level yet, but um, again, to say, so I don't know, of course I'm in this whole brain tumor thing I've got to down, so I don't even know if I'm going to fucking end up showing up, but whatever, I don't know, dude. I'm going to stop there, because I think it's been, it's literally almost been like a half hour. Let me turn the light back on. So that's a bad news, man. Um... Uh, put it down here. I haven't updated it in a while, so here it is. Camera's still fucked up. <laughs> don't know what to tell you guys. I tried. I tried buying something new, and it did not work. Hopefully, the microphone at least works right now. So, um, whatever. June 10th, and it's about to be June 11th, I think. Um, 2014. Damn.